Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4 as we head into episode 48 of Arcade Edition Japan Run. This episode will be conquering Dai Viet, I believe. Uh, I think that was the plan last time. And I actually remember things now because I'm not recording at 10.30 the, you know, the next evening after every single episode. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be hitting the Imperialism button and continuing on today... As we, uh, I guess just continue our conquests. Not not much else to it. We also have to sort of move these guys around a bit. Um, I don't know if there will really, like, if there will be anyone who will uh, be on these islands. But just in case it's more than, like, 4,000, which these guys would be fine with. I'm going to move just a whole stack, so why not? Actually, no, I should probably move to, like, well, no, I'm going to look for their army first. Oh, found it. Okay, we're good. And running away. Okay. Uh, can I go... Actually, I'm going to wait for them to lock in. There we go. And I have only one maneuver, so I'm going to lose the uh, advantage, but... It's still a clean win. I don't think I can chase them. They'll probably go too far. Actually, no, never mind. They're not going too far. I can chase them. Innovativeness for prestige. Ooh, well, I have lots of prestige, so I wouldn't mind doing that. Alright, let me stack wipe real quick. There we go. Alright, solid. So, we have a level 4 bonus. Is that their capital? No, it isn't. Okay. Uh, I can also convert some more. I'm also going to have some rebels. My overextension is disgusting, but that's fine. Cores, great, okay. These guys are taking a long time to get there. Hmm. Apparently I just lost the leader. Was that this one? Yes, it was. Oh, that sucks. That really does suck. Hmm. Well, oh well. I'm still gonna take this fort. Um Might also just do this. And have that going, maybe? Um, because I still need to suppress around here, but... The issue is I don't want them walking past here. I don't care if they take this stuff, because it's not going to do anything, but... If they walk past, then we have a few issues. Ooh! Oh! <gasps> yes! Ah! Okay, that was probably 16 different weird sounds I just made. Okay, uh, right, so, um, we finally got it. We... <laughs> We finally got the spread of Christianity incident. Wow, that's that's stupid. Okay, that took a while. 1693, and it's finally here. Okay, that's great. So we want to go open with everything here. Uh, let us hear what their god can teach us. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Oh, beautiful. We can even baptize a ruler. He becomes Catholic. Uh... Dude, screw it. I'm going to do it. All right, there you go. All right, that's that's just how it is now. Okay, cool. Now we have a... Uh, also going to get rid of that. So now we have our Shogun, who is Christian. Nice. He's a, he's a Catholic. And hopefully, we can uh, finally convert our country to, to I don't know, whatever we want to turn it into, I don't know, Protestant or Catholic. Maybe I'll just convert it all to Catholic and then let you guys decide. Because I'm going to make a drop box for this game. Make you guys decide or, like, you know, swap to whatever you want. Because why not? Yeah, that might be good. Okay, so we're finally on the right track, at least. You know, we're finally getting there. Is he, is he, is he really just going to ignore this? Dude. Just go, what? Okay, whatever. Dive yet is where, sorry? Oh, they just walked up there. Okay, right, because they own this stuff too, so. I guess we'll just bring that one. Another military leader has left us. Okay, so we've pretty much just lost everyone. Okay, we have like no military leaders left. Well, that's fine, because you know, I do have a lot of military points, which I'm not spending on anything, so I might as well just... 
Okay, he's trash. Uh, he's really good. Yoshikazu Asano. He's really solid. I'll probably give him to this guy. When he's done fighting those rebels. We actually lost our general in the middle of that battle, which sucks. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, separatists somewhere, I'm sure. Down there, okay. Now this guy can move down to here. Occupy that too. Now the thing about Hadramut is we might actually need to land just one army on their capital, and maybe we'll be able to take the islands then. First, I'm of course just going to siege down all of uh, the stuff here that Dive Yet has. Grab that guy. He can probably fight that with a three-star general. Hopefully, maybe. Actually, no, come back. I'm going to give you uh, a leader. I'm going to give him the three siege. He's going to move over there. There we go. All right, Nito. Um, so, we should see more Catholicism events pop up soon. I can also take this next idea. I mean, sure, why not? Just complete the trade ideas. So we get uh, another merchant and more caravan power. Not bad. And we can get more policies, which are pretty solid. So missionary strength is going to be useful for converting to Catholic. Trade efficiency is nice. We can actually get a lot of trade efficiency. I mean, I don't see why not. I might as well just take both of them. Both the trade efficiencies until I find a better one. Um, as for this, I think... I'll take both of these, actually. Which means now our trade efficiency should be, like, plus 50%. I, I kind of, I'm kind of i kind of curious to see how this is going to change a lot. So now my trade efficiency just went up 50%, which is amazing. Um... So we'll see what our trade income looks like when we hit the next month. Huh. So it went down in like total... Okay, now I'm just confused. But we are making 369.55 three <laughs> ducats a month. Oh my lord. Okay. That's, that's a good... <laughs> that's a good time. Um... Uh, I don't need either of these things, but I guess I'll take that. Okay, this is this is a solid time, you know? I think I'm having a good time here. Just stay here. They'll come to me. Easy, easy win. Uh, colony's done. Over here. Oh, can I click something, please? Thank you. Great. Move you here. You're done, so you move here. You're still chilling. Actually, no, you're not chilling. I need to set up another colony, too. And I have another merchant, which is great. So, I don't think we need to have any more merchants. Um, but I, I I, don't even know, actually. Like, we don't need one here. It's all just going to move over there. And I could have one here. I mean, sure. There's, there's no need, but I'll just take it. I'll just take it. Alright, more conversions. That's expensive, but who even cares about expenses anymore? You can go over there. Yeah, it's a bit of an issue over there. This guy's going to have to reinforce quickly. Again, I could take the next military tech, or I could just spam out another good leader. Uh, yeah, sorry about your ears real quick. A 4131. This guy isn't so good. He can maneuver, that's it. This is a 6 a six shock, though, which is really solid. I think I'll keep the 6 shock, yeah. That'll be good. And I'll put him on... Uh, I don't know, this guy or something. Also, national decisions. Oh, yeah, standardized uniforms. I never take that. It's just... Ugh, dummy. It's just bad. In general. So, you can go fix that. And you have to fix that, too. Disorder. Oh, great. Wonderful. I'm assuming my cost is really expensive. Yes, it is. 
Actually, it's not so bad for what it could be, but still expensive. Okay, uh, I won that siege. I should probably fix this one. Probably. Maybe I should fix them both at the same time, like using both these guys. Minimize the losses, because reinforcing takes a long time. Oh, and speaking of reinforces, um, they did something over there. Also, hold on, did I just see that six years of tech? I can, I can pay 547 for this? What the hell? Okay, that's great. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, sure, I guess I should take that. Also take this. Also give the clergy a little bit more land so I don't have to constantly give them more than I should have to. And that would be some of this stuff. Actually, we have zero autonomy in these places because they're all territories. Or uh, states, not territories. I guess you could have that, right? I should probably give uh, the clergy a lot of stuff in my land, actually, because I think that's like faster conversion rate. Pretty sure at least, right? Yeah, local missionary strength. So a lot of my own land I should be giving the clergy. To be able to convert faster. Right, so demand and then call for the diet. I mean, this general at this point would be worse than my own, so I don't know if I want to do that. 55. This will just bring it to a nice and even 75, though. Yeah, he's not so good anyway, but... Alright, that's neat. That works for me. You've been getting needless attrition. I'll move you over here then. You know, in theory, I didn't need to take any of the islands. In fact, I don't think I will. I think I'll just, like... Bring him over to the capital, honestly. More revolts, but down here this time. Okay, great. We're having lots of lots of revolts, lots of fun. Um, that means that this guy should actually come back around here to deal with that first. Alrighty, that guy is done. I'm gonna bring three star general over there. This guy has the siege ability, so we're gonna walk down to there. Corrupt Factor, uh, okay. Saigoku Company, okay, so yeah, so the Saigoku Company of the Malukas was like an actual thing, because this is a, uh, or maybe it isn't. I can't tell if this is an actual flavor event, or if it's just like an event that happens for trade companies. I, I can't actually be sure, but. Um, yeah, right, so. Gain Mercantilism, which I mean, at this point, doesn't matter. Dear God, I have so much money. Uh, or lose corruption that I don't have. Well, I'll just screw it. I'll take the mercantilism, because why not? Ah, feels good to be rich. Right, so, Mexico doesn't care about us anymore, which is good. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Uh, we are going to have to placate them more or something like that. Or we can just wait for revolutions to begin. Because when revolutions begin, we can uh, get the li liberty desire from uh, from development decrease, which is great. Be really useful. Now I could have also taken that policy for uh, for this minus zero point ten percent, which is like still solid, I guess. Uh, lose manpower. I don't really want to lose manpower at this point. That is a lot of army professionalism. That's five generals of professionalism. Yikes. Um... See, that's crazy, because what I could do is just lose the manpower and gain more manpower from from dropping it by five than, than losing the five and getting the devastation. So, like, in theory, I'm probably still going to pay five army professionalism. I'm just not going to get devastation, and I'm going to get more manpower. So, in theory, this works out if I just hit this button. 
If, if I can, I would like to not hit this button, but I, I think I will. Just to do it once. Because I really do need to reinforce, and having low manpower is not good right now, so. Uh, where did, where did they go? Huh? Oh, maybe they fought me, but like at a different time. Is that the, is that the British? I swear to God. <sighs> okay. Great. Now the Brits are here. So anyway. You don't need your general, which is a... All I need is a one siege, because he's just going to go over here. Yeah, okay, solid. Apparently I'm going to have Mongol separatists too, which is interesting. Oh, and I'm capped on military, because of course I am. Well, you see, that's awfully convenient, because I could take this for 715. Or I could just spam out more generals for professionalism. Which, oh, I'm so sorry for your ears, but I'm going to have to do it again. Uh, that's a 2261. Not great. Ooh, this guy's solid. I like him. I like him a lot, actually. Um, kind of want to replace this guy with him, actually, because he has good fire and good shock. So this guy can actually park here. Uh, not like that. Just park real quick. Swap to that guy. Get rid of this, uh, this dude. Then embark again and head over here? Yes, here. Okay, great. Alright, so I just need to take that. Oh! I got a new heir who is not garbage. Tomohito is like a 153. I mean, he actually isn't that good, to be honest. He's like, slightly below average. But at this point, I'm okay, because I just have like level 5 advisors, so I don't care. But, yeah. So, uh, great, thank you. Um, as for events, though, I'm still kind of looking for more of the Christian events. Still sort of waiting for those. 78, come on, really? And Hadramut's just doing Hadramut things, I don't know. I just need to take their capital. They'll probably give me some islands. Alright, solid. So, that's their capital gone. That is ticking war score, I think. Yes, it is. Great. Actually, I, I should help them with that siege, shouldn't I? Siege of... Where, where was that? Is it over? Did I win a siege or did I lose a siege? Oh, we just won this one. Duh. Right, okay. And I think... Yeah, had the Demut's trying to do something. Like, okay, cool. Take that. Oh, that was inconvenient for them. I think I'll move over here. Actually. Ah, uh, Mexico's upset again with their... What is that? 150 whatevers. Sure, just placate. Keep them happy until the age of revolutions. And then I'll take more generals, I guess. There's nothing to do with this stuff. There's nothing to do with military power. There's absolutely nothing I can do. You know what? You know what I can do, actually? First of all, just so I can, you know, whatever. Oh, jeez, he's a good guy. Better than this guy, actually. Well, not in Siege. I kind of prefer the Siege. Because at this point, we... Don't need the pips. This is a hard decision to make. I could get rid of this guy. Screw it, I don't care. Um, anyways, I'm just probably going to bombard, bombard the shore with this guy. Or like cannon shooty things. Yes, those ones. Lots of cannon shooty things. Even though it's like... I don't need to, uh, you know what, screw it. Lots of cannon shooty things, and we're good. Alright, I'm gonna move you down here. Lots of manpower still, which is great. I'm bringing this guy down here. I probably can't full NX dive yet, but I can... I can do something, probably. 
Tax Cascadia. I mean, they wouldn't mind that, would they? Nah, not really. Won that siege. That's their capital. Okay, great. I just want some islands, man. Like, I don't even want your, your home stuff. I just want the islands. We'll be salt. Really, you're just... You're not gonna say good... Oh my god. You're not gonna say okay to the islands? They're just islands, bro. They're just islands. Please. I want the islands. Please give me the islands. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have to... Occupy more things then. I'll destroy their ships, and then I'll destroy their will to live, and then we'll be good. Oh, okay, there we go. Missions in Kyoto. I am looking for some, uh... For some solid Christian, you know, developments going on here. Uh, Tomohito will be happy to learn of their god. Of course he will be. Of course. He would be more than overjoyed to learn about the Christian god. Because that's the point of the entire series I'm playing here, so if it, if it doesn't happen, then we'll rip. I don't know. Also, what time are we looking at right here? Because I am slightly on a tight time schedule. 21 minutes. Okay, if I can finish this war in 4 minutes, I will be really happy. Actually, can I just get rid of you? Because you're annoying. Great, okay. Also, I have 18,000 ducats. Okay, let me spend it on something. Like, more money. Yes, that's exactly what I need right now. I could probably just have entire mercenary armies at this point. Like, there's no reason for me to keep building buildings. Or to keep using manpower at this point, actually. Pretty much no reason, but screw it, I might as well. Alright, solid. Uh, more military. Okay, I, I can't be bothered to keep making... No, I can't, actually, because professionalism is nice to have. Okay, great. Don't need you. Don't need you. You're okay, but I don't think I need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. You're okay, but I kind of prefer this guy. Yeah. Actually, this guy can probably take over for, for this guy. So once this siege is done, we'll uh, use the other general. So we'll move this guy to be this guy. Get rid of this one. He's only slightly better siege, but... I think one point of siege for multiple pips of the other fighting things is just a good trade. Mongol Separatists all the way up here. That's what this guy's for. That's what this entire army's purpose is. If they can get there on time, god damn it. <laughs> Had no effect, but like at the same time, that's annoying. Anyways. So this is 661, this is 655, this is 427. Nice. That's like absolutely nothing. Well, it's not absolutely nothing. I'm not gonna... Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Right, so I need to move you... Oh wait, no, you're already sieging. That's that's fine then. You know what, at this point, I generate admin more than I generate prestige. So, I might as well. My religious unity is also complete garbage. Like, it's... Oh, it's so trash. Right, so... Uh, yes, I just want your islands. That is it. Thank you very much. So I think I will take them. Whoop. Thank you. Um, boop, 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 boop. Okay, I was actually about to, like, start swearing. Like, on God. I was about to get demonetized just because if that was Hadramut and I didn't notice. I was actually about to throw myself into the demonetization, I don't know, well. Just because I'm... That would have been... I would have been furious. <sighs> okay, anyway, I'll take this guy and he'll do me some dive yet things. He'll just take this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure I get no overextension from islands, which is solid. I also get full annexation here, which is even more solid, so thank you. Alright, so we're looking pretty solid. Um, I think I'll take some more stuff then. Because I can, and I don't see why not. 
Now, of course, my, uh, my Diplo rep is, is beyond garbage at this point. Like, it's absolute trash. So, Mexico is upset that I exist. Oh, no, why do I have subjects? Why do I have tri Are those tributaries? Oh, they're tributaries. Thank God. Okay. Whew. Okay, I was really concerned for a second. I'm like, why... Why do I have subjects now? I was like, did Dive yet secretly have, like, a subject empire that I didn't notice? No, they didn't, which is good. Whew, I actually had a small heart attack. Okay, it's fine if they don't send tribute. I don't care. That's absolutely okay. Wu is o upset. You know what, Wu? Be upset, alright? Just do it. Be upset. I don't care. I'm canceling your tributary. You get no protection from me anymore. In fact, I'm probably going to invade a lot of people. But anyways, I think that's all the time we have for today. I'm on a sort of tight schedule. So hopefully you did enjoy this episode. Um, you know, in the next few episodes, as we'll see, we, uh, we will turn to Catholic. And we're going to have a lot of fun here. Uh, you know, fixing these uh, these issues we have here. Oh dear God! I should stop. I should stop conquesting for a little while just to fix my own issues once I turn Catholic. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. This is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day.